so in this question substitution method uh, substitution method means we are going to substitute one variable value in another variable another equation basically so there are two equations as you can see yes or no yes now over here yeah so in this particular question if you can see there is variable x with a coefficient 7 and variable y with coefficient minus 5 minus 15 and over here coefficient is 1 coefficient is 2 so in substitution method we try to look for a variable which is alone that means over here x is alone yes or no the coefficient yeah. is 1 it is not necessary that x or y will be alone always but if you can see that it is the ideal scenario so this is my first equation this is my second equation so i will start choosing from two okay so what i will try to do i will keep the x alone substitution method step number one becomes step number one becomes keep one variable alone this is known as subject change basically let me just do one uh, example then only you will be able to understand now from ex expression 2 x equals to 3 minus 2y is this thing clear yes, yes. this becomes my third equation okay. now what i'm going to do i'm going to substitute this particular equation in 1 why not 2 because i have used Two to find out this particular equation so suppose you are using first equation then you cannot substitute in one equation first equation okay oh. now so we will be writing substituting substituting three in one that is why it is known as a uh, substitution method Okay. So I will be taking 7 bracket 3 minus 2y minus 15y equals to 2. Okay. Let's open the bracket. Quickly tell me what will happen. 7 into 3, 21 minus 14y minus 15y equals to 2. Let's simplify this. 21. I can shift this 21 to the other side also. 2 minus 21. And these two can be solved together. Yes, minus minus twenty nine y, and I will be getting y equals to minus nineteen upon minus twenty nine, and my answer would be nineteen upon twenty nine. Is this thing clear? Okay. Any doubt in this thing? Y value is done? Yes. Now, what you can do is like, you can choose a Y value. Not means choose. Whatever the value you have found out, you can substitute this thing in the third equation, always. Okay, okay so I'm going to do that. Substituting. Uh, give this a number, let's say number 4, 4 in 3, okay, 4 in 3, so x equals to 3 minus 2 bracket 19 upon 29, so I'll just so simply take LCM and all that, so 3 bracket 29 minus 2 bracket 19 upon 29 and once i solve this thing i will be getting 49 upon 29 so, so that's my x value so that's it 
is there any doubt in this method substitution method no so take a look at it i'll just revise keep one variable alone in, in this particular question x was already alone alone means coefficient is 1 okay coefficient is 1 already coefficient is 1 so i need to make it 1 suppose it was not the case i would have made it 1 so quickly copy this thing then i will do one more question after that you will practice okay so what is the issue in this question uh इसके अंदर कोई भी वो नहीं कोफिशियंट का फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू एनालाइज वेन वी आर इन डेसिमल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ये सुनो डिफिकल्ट टू डू द कैलकुलेशन सो इवन इन फ्रैक्शन आई लाइक टू टेक एल सी एम एंड रिमूव डिनोमिनेटर सिमिलरली इन डेसिमल आई लाइक टू रिमूव डेसिमल दिस इज once place uh, 10th place this is 10th place this is 10th place 10th place 10th place 10th place every decimal number is 10th place so what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply the whole equation by 10 and multiply this whole equation by 10 to remove decimal so when we have an equals to i can multiply both sides or divide by both sides still both sides will remain equal we know this thing yes or no so what will happen to the equations it will be 2x plus 3y equals to 13 4x yeah one second So four x, oh sorry, two x plus three y equals to thirteen. Second equation will become four x plus five y equals to twenty three. Yes, understood. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Now, now, this is my first equation. This is my second equation. Now, as you can see, both the variables in this case. X has two. This X has four. This X, this Y has three. This is five. So now I can pick and choose any one. There is no favorite. In the last question, oh. over here X was already alone. So I picked that equation. But right now I'm not going to do anything. I'm just take any equation. So from one, from one, uh. 2x plus 3y equals to 13. Yes. So you want to keep x alone or y alone? Up to you. X alone. So 2x equals to 13 minus 3y. So it is getting multiplied. So I'll shift 2 to the other side. It will get divided. 13 minus 3y upon 2. understood yes now this becomes my third equation i will put in second equation yes substituting 3 in 2 because i have used equation number 1 we have to take another uh, equation so i have to substitute this equation in second okay yes so let us substitute so 4 bracket 4 bracket 13 minus 3y upon 2 yes plus 5y equals to 23 is this thing clear yes i just substituted this x with this particular answer Okay. Now, moving forward, 
let us simplify this thing. This two and this get canceled. I'll just open the bracket now. Two into 13. 26 minus 6y plus 5y equals to 23. Let us simplify these things and shift 26 to the other side. 23 minus 26 and over here I'll be getting minus y. Yes or no? Shift my negative to the other side. It is minus 3 right now. Yes or no? Yes. Answer would be 3. So I got my answer as 3. Any doubt as of now? No. No. Now, where should I substitute this equation? This is my fourth equation. Third. Third. Very good. Substituting. Four in three. Okay. So X equals to thirteen minus three bracket three upon two. So X equals to thirteen minus six upon two. X value is uh, seven. No, thirteen minus nine. Ah, oh, sorry, 13 minus 9. Sorry, 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 sorry. So this is 9. 13 minus 9 would be 4. X would be 2. So these are my two solutions. I hope um, substitution method is clear. Yes. Okay, make sure you box your answer or at the end, write down your answer in one bracket so that the teacher get to know what is your final answer. So you can write therefore x equals to 2 y equals to 3 and curly back it. Okay. So that teacher doesn't have to focus on all the things. So you can copy this thing if you have not done as of now. So this question was of uh, one of the favorite question because it was in decimals. Based on this thing, you can do question exercise 3.3, question number one. Okay. All the parts.